And we're going to do landing light pulse, bilge pump on, and the gear is stowed. Our pre-water landing checklist is complete. Touch the blue one. Hit find. Top left. And then um, flight plan or nearest. Select frequency. Ah, yeah. And then just touch 2295. Puts it standby. Hit the white one. And now we're listening to the mountain plane. It's so weird being this low to the lake. I think we got one coming towards us, but when we make this turn, we will assess whether or not we can get on the water and off again. I think we have plenty of room. And it's some rain down here, so we'll watch out for debris and stuff floated in, but so far we're looking pretty good. Stretch up here, land in if there's no boats, no obstacles. Yeah, we're looking good. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to be the time of year where sunblock has to be on the checklist. Yeah.
There's a little boat down there that'll yep, make it kind of tight, so we'll do our next one past the bridge instead of prior to it. They're cutting a pretty good wake, so we're going to land just beyond and behind those guys. We'll go around them, but we'll use their V. Uh, number of cross soils here, it'll be a little bumpy. Won't be on the water very long. We should see him up there, 700 feet above us is what it says. There he is out there. Yep, kind of in sight. And then there one should be him. one behind him. Yep, highway.
splash and go here. If you would uh, have it stop navigating for us, I think you could touch the uh, that guy and then the waypoint. Yep, touch that and then uh, remove. There you go. A little bit of weight there. Got some pretty good water to work in down here. About 10 knots of wind. Going to do a splash straight ahead there, but the boat came around the turn, so we'll go on by. That's a kayak or someone's swimming. That looks like rafts are in or two. Yeah. My friends down here said the water temperature is like 65 degrees now. Somebody's clearing off that island to build something. without a lot of weight to do some uh, step taxi. All right, we're gonna do some turns here. Our freaky feeling, start with the right. starts to tighten up on its own, we have to counter steer.
go into the choppier water, I actually have to reduce our power to stay on. That's a weird feeling, isn't it? Yes. And we're only going 35. It feels like we're going way faster than that because yeah. we're so close to the water. Yeah. You want to fly a little bit? I want to have all the fun. I think I moved my seat too far back, but here we go. All right, your control. My controls. You can probably power down just a little bit, like 4,300 roughly. And let's go that way. I can't remember exactly where your folks were. They're somewhere, somewhere in this area, I think. They are. Where are we? Over there, maybe. Gosh, I don't know. If you want to cruise by, we can climb up, take a look, see if you can find it, and make our way down to it. Because we're going to go over the trees and houses, let's circle around the water and get. Uh, get up to about 1,200 feet or so. That would go full power. There you go. Climb at around 60, 65 knots. Yeah, I remember landing like here and taking a right down one of these fingers. Maybe that one over there? I think so. Oh, it's over this little hunk of land right here, I think. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's one of those work barges. For yeah. a second, it looked like a tiny sail on a very large boat. That's looking for Bayer. Yep. Is that down there? Or is this an actual? I kind of remember going past this little boathouse. It's, uh... I think it's that one. Yeah. All right. Or maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I think we went past it. Okay. Well, let's turn around and uh, land and see if we can find it. Got to climb, I guess. Yep. Let's climb up. And we'll uh, make a left turn and come back in over the water here and land into the wind. Power on, keep the nose down. Follow the water. Okay, we're looking for about 60 knots on that descent. right down the middle of the middle of the water. Okay. Yeah, nice, we're on. Alright, I got the control right, to control. help you with the step taxi. So do you think it's this left turn or yeah, the next it's, left? It's that left this turn. one? Right. Yeah. definitely some wind down here. I wouldn't get it blown into anybody's docks. We'll go to displacement. Good morning, sir. Uh, I'm cruising up your cove in a seaplane right now. If you want to come out and wave. Is that... No, I guess that's the neighbors that came out to... All right, sounds good, I see you. <laughs> All right, sounds good. He's coming down to the dock. Cool. All right, so for fun and to practice, I'm gonna deploy the gear to stabilize us a bit. Okay. Just don't forget to put it up. Wow, you really need a muscle to do that. Yeah. 
jeez. Well, you know, they're inflated. They don't want to be underwater. <laughs> Bye to the nice lady and her dog. And here we go. I don't see any boats or obstacles. Come on, airplane. Up on step, baby. There it goes. I don't see any boats. straight ahead for a takeoff run. We'll give it turbo because why not? Oh yeah. All right, turbo's off. Normal climb. to remember it's right there next to basically the Brammer yeah. area. Cessna is looks like he's in the practice area now, so we'll keep on staying down low until we get north of the airport. Yeah, that guy plenty of plenty of room. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves seeing this thing. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Get some altitude since we got some traffic coming our way. Oh, 
to do a splash and go straight ahead in that guy's wake. Fourth line? Sure, I got him. Your controls. Alright, so we're just going to go up here, make the left turn, and um, follow the main channel back to the north. down to the right and around, or do you want to go? Uh, yeah, stay over the water. Okay. And if you see one coming towards us, we want to try to keep at least 500 feet away from ourselves and any of those things. When possible. want to do any splash and goes you're welcome to it we'll just either do it right here or once we get through the hairpins back in the straightaways we can do some splash and goes. can i do it right here yeah man all right so we we'll pull the power all the way or uh, like three thousand just till the engine starts to complain you start to feel that pitch up ideally 60 some knots we're going to see what this boat does because we might have to abort in here okay 
Yeah, you're looking good. You just want to keep that uh, flat pitch attitude. Find the water. You got it. Whoa. Yeah. Back up again? Yeah, let's go on back up. <laughs> the, um, the one of the challenges is we got a pretty good crosswind there. Um, and sometimes it's hard to see the reference that you're not lined up with the water you're about to touch. Yeah, right. And as soon as you touch, that keel will dig in and it will straighten you out. All right, let's uh, go wide around this guy so we're not just flying right over top of him. Got a boat chase. There you on. go. Excellent. Yep, take a right turn. All right, so we can go straight over this tiny little strip here and then take a left. I don't see anybody uh, out on the pier. Yeah, left turn. And now we can uh, start descending. We're still pretty close to the airport. We don't want to get up too high. All right, now you got a bunch of water here with no boats or obstacles if you want to try another one. Yeah, about 3,000. This pitch attitude, maybe just slightly nose low, lower than this, works really well for that 60 knot descent once the airplane stabilizes. Yeah, looking good. And our goal is just get down here, find about three feet over the water. Yeah. There you go. Nice. On power up. Got to pull back as you power up. Is that uh, push your prop wants to push the nose down? Yeah, we level off here. This ripply water coming up. That'll give you some really good outside reference. Try to try to do a splash and go on that. Okay. Yeah, power up. Pull back as you power up. Good. We can level off this altitude. You got a whole lot of room in front of you. This time, try to get uh, just a couple of feet off the water and fly there. Okay. Now if you can get it to where it, it wants to just fly a couple feet off the water, then the landing is real easy because all you got to do is reduce the uh, power just a pinch. Yeah. Like that? Yep, settles right on. Nice. Very good. All right, level off here and do that again. Power up, good. Got two there. All right, this should straighten out, and we have room to do one more before the bridge. So one more good one, then we'll climb up. And, and uh, I got a boat there, though. Is that all right? I uh, stay here, go to the right of the boat, and then we'll touch down uh, after the boat has passed. Yep. Good power, you know, like 4,043. What you're doing is fine. Just uh, keep going straight ahead. All right, now you're good for an approach. Now have you got wake power up? All right, let's climb up and away. Get back in time for meetings. All right, it's looking like clouds have come up a little bit, so we'll go back at 2,500 if we can get there. And your after-water landing checklist: turn your pulse lights off, turn your bilge pump off, 
And the gear is still up and stowed after one of the checklists complete.